what's up? Took the Sequoia out yesterday um, and it is time to convert to winter mode. Um, I have the clip pedals on right now and I came across some ice and I had to unclip really fast <laughs> because uh, I, I don't like being clipped in when it is icy. If I'm gonna go down, I like to be able to kind of react. So what I'm gonna do is take the flats off the Fargo and put them on the Sequoia. That way, both of the bikes that I'm actually gonna ride this winter will be set up with flats. I'm kind of toying around with the idea of not putting the studded tires on, but just because they're so hard to get on. They're a wire bead, but I'm probably gonna end up doing it. So that's part of the winter conversion. I'm just not looking forward to doing it. I don't know if I'll do it today or if I will do it on another day, but uh, the other day up here, we got just a dusting of really big flakes for like, I don't know, hour and a half. Most of it melted, but any place that is shaded, it's just turned to glare ice. So, and nothing down in Eau Claire, there's nothing down there. But if I'm gonna commute to work at all down in Eau Claire this year, the tunnels usually get pretty icy. So I'm gonna want studs, so I'll probably end up throwing them on. But Okay, I'm gonna get to uh, changing over stuff on the Sequoia. So when uh, Flint wakes up, maybe I can take him out on a little ride. There, I got these off and those on. Now it's time to get the tires off and start that process. Now that popped on really easy, the first side. These are a wire bead tire and they are a pain in the butt to get on. Last time I put them on, I had to use zip ties three quarters of the way around um, and I ended up popping the inner tube. Um, hopefully this time it goes a little easier. Okay, I got it on that time and not a single swear word. Um, maybe working in the bike shop gave me a little bit more experience uh, getting this done. Maybe having it on a raised platform helped me a little bit, but um, all I did was get the one side in and then this is something that I knew before, um, but working in the bike shop, I know a little more now, but um, start here and push down, get the bead into the center of the wheel and work your way around both sides here. And then the last part you get in is up here by the valve because the valve is in the center of the rim and it blocks the, uh, the rim from or the tire from getting into the center of the rim and uh, it just kind of gets in your way. So it gives you just a little bit extra room if you work from here around both sides and the last part of the tire you put in is right there by the valve. The max on these is 85. I'm putting them up to 60. They are a pretty bone jarring ride just because they're they're 35s um, and I'm used to a larger tire more supple sidewall these things are basically like riding on rocks and the other thing I learned out at the shop is get the rim completely inside the tire so it is just in the tire on both sides. The bead isn't isn't on or isn't inside the rim anywhere. Then get the bottom in down here all the way around. That works pretty good. And then get your tube in and then add in the 
top bead. Okay, that was very simple. Now I'm going to align the tire print with the valve. Pretty simple to spin that around. Now I'm going to add a little bit of air to the tube, give it some shape, and add it all around the wheel. Got the tube added in. Now I'm going to start here and go both ways around the rim and finish at the valve. There, I finally got this one in. It was quite a bit harder and I bent my tire lever. <laughs> so that kind of shows how that went. And there we go, good to go for the winter. Studley tires. A little narrower than I'd like. They don't quite fill up the fenders as nicely as the sawtooths do, but they will keep me from slipping and sliding for the most part. Put on a little test ride with Flint. Got him back there in the trailer. Something you notice about studs is they make a lot more noise. Just kind of sounds like you're riding on sand the whole time. I got done with the conversion probably about, I don't know, two and a half hours ago. And they're still holding air, so that's good. He just looks so freaking narrow. So that's the end of that project. If you found that at all useful, please subscribe. Leave me a message. I like talking to my subscribers and um, hearing what they want to see or seeing if they have any questions. Until um, next time, see ya.